police releasing a sketch in connection with the murder of a jogger in Queens. Investigators want to speak to this man, but stress he is not a suspect. Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Richardson is live with the breaking details. Kimberly? Shirlene, just moments ago, that big development in a case that has stumped police and so far has not led to any arrests. Again, take a look at this sketch. Top Brass just released it moments ago. This was actually at a press conference for the West Indian Day celebrations. The sketch is of a man they want to speak with, but again, they emphasize he's not a suspect or a person of interest. Police say he was spotted on the bike path not far from where Karina Vetrano was murdered just a few weeks ago. A utility worker in the area, notice the unidentified man and help police come up with this sketch. Vetrano was strangled, sexually assaulted and murdered inside Spring Creek Park in Howard Beach on August 2nd. Her father, along with investigators, found her body. Police do say they have some DNA, but so far there has not been a match. They're hoping the man in the sketch who they say did not witness the murder can fill in some of the blanks. He's five foot ten with a medium build. He was wearing dark pants with a red T-shirt, and if you'll notice, the dark wool hat. Remember, the day was August uh, 2nd. A little unusual, he's wearing a wool hat in the area there. We don't know who he is. We don't know if he's a fellow jogger, uh, what he's doing. If you, I said if you go westbound on the Belt Parkway, you go into East New York, Brooklyn. We don't know if he went into East New York or he went into uh, other parts of the 106 precinct. would be South Ozone Park. The chief boy says they were able to come up and finalize this sketch in the last 10 days and today want to get it out there in front of the public to see if anybody knows this man, if he recognizes himself in the sketch. They're telling him to please come forward to help with this investigation. For now, we're live in Brooklyn. Kimberly Richardson, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.